Hi everybody, it's Tracy, and today I have another project to share with you. Today's project is a mini album, and first of all, I used the Linen Closet Collection by DCWV. Love this collection. I've had it for a few months, and I finally got around to using it. And this is my oops, mini album. And yes, it is fat because I tend to make fat mini albums. It's the tag shape from um, Michael's. Wait a minute, let me try to fix this camera a little better. Okay. So now, let me tell you how I did this. First of all, I have um, some lace and ribbons and a few pearls on the binding ring. And then here I have a um, little pearl charm on a garment pin. Okay. The cover... the way I made this is I used the Baroque die by Tim Holtz and I cut that out from chipboard and then I cut a uh, jewel one of those jewel tone papers out from the die and then I ran it through the cuddle bug for, with a color cuddle bug folder and then I edged it. I think that's walnut stain. And put a Tim Holtz corner here. This is a book plate that I alcohol inked. Use my Dymo letter maker for the remember. I have some Prima pearls in the corners. The flowers. This flower is Prima. And I just sprayed it with some uh, pearl glimmer mist and then this flower is my favorite white rose from Michaels that I sprayed it with my own homemade glimmer mist and I'm not even sure the colors I use it's some concoction that I've had forever and I finally had a reason to use it then these two flowers are the white e-line flowers that I formed into these roses and I sprayed those with uh, glimmer mist mixtures and the, f the leaves are Prima leaves they were white all of them were white these two I sprayed with English Ivy glimmer mist and this one I used a uh, uh, green apple smooch paint on and so that's the cover okay now inside I have this little pocket and this pocket I got this idea from uh, Tara and nurse Tara thanks Tara and I haven't done my journaling yet but I will and this is a little uh, flap, and here I just used my Martha Stewart punch and some lace, some trim there. And then I just put some pictures of my family in there. Next page is me. A picture of me. <laughs> I use a Sizzix frame that I covered with a designer paper. I have the Prima bling and then I put some lace down here. Pretty simple. And then here's my baby. My big baby. She's a senior now. And uh I put, I just use a Sizzix die here as a mat. And then I have Prima Pearls and Prima Flowers here. And on this page, 
pretty simple. I just cut a pocket and then I uh, used some Prima Lace and I made these uh, tags that I will be journaling on and then I just put some eyelets on and ribbons and I mean lace yeah ribbons and fibers so that's that next page and that's my baby girl and um, I used some Prima ribbon trim and then uh, Tim Holtz Wander uh, coin and I used a Sizzix die for the frame and then I just popped it up on pop dots here then here's my middle baby and this is what I did I just used another Sizzix frame with chipboard and designer paper and then I added little Prima roses around there Okay, next page, I use my Martha Stewart punch and some um, Recollections pearls here. And this is a Prima rose that I put on a button <laughs> to adhere it there. Got Velcro and you open up. And these are my girls' uh, school pictures for this year. Oldest, middle, youngest, and on photo mats. So that's how that goes. And the last page is my honey, my sweet husband of 20 years, and myself. And here, this is a Prima flower that I bought that way. And then another Prima flower. All Primas here. Then I have a Tim Holtz uh, memo pin here holding the adage ticket that I distressed. And then the frame I cut out from a Sizzix die. And that's that. That's the end of this mini album. This mini album I did in record time. I started and finished it yesterday. I just had an idea of what I wanted to do and I went for it. And this is it. So thank you all so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.